Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to create a snake pattern brush so we can draw a full snake with only one brush stroke. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we want to do is enable the grid. So let's go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now we want to draw each section of the snake so we can combine them to a brush later on. So start off by selecting the rectangle tool. From here, draw a square inside one of these grid squares. Now select the stroke and disable it. Then select the fill color and choose whatever color you like your snake to be. I will choose the screen right here. If you want the same colors as I use, there will be a download link down in the description. And there will also be a link to one of my videos showing you how to import the swatches. So now choose the color, go to the selection tool. And now while holding down the alt key, duplicate this square two times. Now we have the base for each section. This is going to be the tail, this is going to be the body, and this is going to be the head of the snake. But let's make the parts a little bit more interesting. So now choose the tail and zoom in a little bit. Then go to the pen tool and add an anchor point right in the middle of this side. Then click the two corners with the minus sign to delete them. Now while holding down the alt key to alter the anchor points, drag the anchor point until you get this nice curve. This handle right here should be in the middle of this square. Do the same thing in the bottom. So hold down the ALT key and drag. So now we get this kind of shape. But we need the right side of the tail to be totally straight so it can combine with the body. So now once again hold down the ALT key while dragging. And drag these handles all the way into the anchor points. Do this in both sides. This is the shape of the tail. So now let's move on to the head. So now choose the ellipse tool and draw a circle that fills out one of these squares on the grid. Now with the arrow keys notch it in until half the circle sticks out of the square. Now draw another circle down here and this circle is a little bit smaller. Two small squares to be exact. This circle is going to be the eye so for this select the yellow color. Go to the selection tool and drag the eye up here. Now with the eye selected, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag the other eye down here. Then duplicate one of these circles and move it to the side. Then hold down the shift key and scale the circle down until it's only two small squares tall. This is the pupil, so select the black color. Move the pupil to the eye. Duplicate the pupil and move this to the side. Hold down shift and scale this even smaller. This is the reflection in the pupil, so move the reflection up here. And while having the reflection selected, hold down the shift key and select the pupil too. Then go to the shape builder and hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract the part sticking out of the pupil right here. Then go to the selection tool and select the reflection and make this reflection gray. Now select the reflection and the pupil by holding down the shift and selecting. Then hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate this to the other eye. So now we need to do the tongue sticking out of the mouth. For this choose the pen tool and draw a line from here and to a little bit outside the mouth. Now choose the selection tool and select the tongue. Then go to the stroke menu and select the width you like. Then choose the line tool and draw a small line like this and one more small line to the other side. Then while having this line selected, go to the width tool and while holding down the shift key, make the tip of the tongue pointy. Do the same thing on the other side. Now choose the selection tool and select the whole tongue, select the stroke and give the tongue a red color. Then right click the tongue, go to arrange and send to back. Now we want to do the zigzag pattern on the back of the snake. So let's start with the middle of the snake. For this, choose the pen tool and start drawing from here and follow the zigzag like this. We only need to create an M like this. Now go to the selection tool and select the stroke. Then go to the stroke menu and if you want to change the width you can do that. But you want to check off round cap and round join. This will give you this smooth look. So now select the stroke and drag it to the side. Now while having the stroke selected, go to object, go to expand and click the fill and stroke and click OK. 
So now we need to split this stroke into three parts. So let's select the line tool and draw some lines where we want the zigzag to split. Now go to the selection tool and select all these lines. Now go down to the pathfinder tool. If it isn't open, you can find it in window and pathfinder tool right here. Go down to the panel and click divide. This will use the lines we drew to split the shape. Now right click the shape and click on group. So now we have three shapes. So now to make sure the zigzag is still in the middle of the body, select the zigzag and the body. Then click one more time on the body to get this strong indicator. Then click this button right here and make sure align to key object is selected. And then click vertical align center. My shapes didn't move because it is already in the middle. Now unselect the shapes and select the zigzag pattern and give this pattern a light green color. Now the reason why we had to split the zigzag pattern into three shapes is that now this part can be added to the tail. So drag this while holding down the shift key and drop it right here. Make sure it aligns to the edge and the right part of the zigzag is going to the head. So drag and hold down the shift key and place it right here. And the middle part of the zigzag is going to the body. So drag it to the body while holding down the shift key. Then hold down the alt key to duplicate and drag a copy to the side. And as you can see it misaligns a little bit. So hold down the shift key to make sure it still aligns. You can repeat this step by clicking ctrl D. Now hold down the shift key and select all the zigzag patterns on the body. Then go to the pathfinder menu and click unite. This unites the four zigzag shapes into one. Now go back to the head and we need to do the shadows around the eyes. For this we need to disable the snap to grid feature. So now go to view and unselect snap to grid. You can just leave the grid visible. Now select one of these eyes, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then go to edit one more time and paste in front one more time. Now we have three eyes on top of each other. Then while having the top eye selected, notch it three times to the left with the arrow keys. Then while holding down the shift key, select the eye just underneath. And select the square too. Then go to the shape builder tool. And while holding down the alt key to subtract, subtract all this. And also subtract this. This leaves behind this tiny shape. For this shape, select the dark green color. And now while having this shape selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now go to the reflect tool, hold down the alt key and find the anchor point right here. Then click and we want to reflect the shadow on a horizontal axis. So select horizontal and click copy. Now we have a copy of the shadow on the other eye. So now we have all parts of the snake, but now we need to build the brush. So zoom out a little bit until you see all the shapes. Then go to the selection tool and select the tail. Then drag the tail up to the swatches. Then select the body and drag this to the swatches. And do the same thing for the head. And now we have a small snake right here. Then unselect everything, go to the brushes menu, go to new brush and select pattern brush and click OK. From here we can build the brush. So call this brush snake and select the start tile right here. And for the start tile, we of course want the tail. So select the tail. Then for the side tile, we want to choose the body. And for the end tile, we want to choose the head. We don't need to fill out the corner tiles. Now click OK. Then let's zoom out. And with the brush selected, we can now go to the paintbrush tool and simply just draw a snake. Just make sure that when you paint the snake, the end of the stroke is straight, else this will happen. As you see, you will get some weird heads if the end isn't straight. But because this is technically only a stroke, you can use the same features that you would use to manipulate a stroke. This means that if you select a stroke, you can change the size of the snake in the stroke width. You can also change the profiles or use the width tool. And I'm sure you'll find a better way than this to manipulate your snake. 
If you want to learn how to draw a palm tree with a similar technique, you can check out the video on the end card right now.